hi good morning uh, today i'll create uh, a input parameter and check how to use this input parameter also how to use the input parameter in a filter so as usual we already have this view it's already pre-created views so this view i'm going to semantic in a semantic layer and then go to this parameter variable in this plus sign just in the drop down click on this create input parameter if get input parameter if you click on create input parameter the input parameter screen will be available over here so you can you can click on this create input parameter screen now just give a input parameter name something like then sub only on the screen is available over here which is the description will be over here now there's a couple of options one is direct one is column one is divide trade from table one is static filter one is a scalar procedure function direct means you are creating a cable parameter directly from a particular table you can you can get it from a column direct which is, which is nothing but a direct parameter here you can give a data type and the other information and it will be created uh, the same way if you create a uh, column type so you can refer a column so or a particular column and it will take up the data type which for that particular column only number three is the derive from table so it is nothing but uh, if you'd like to derive the input parameter for a particular table in that case this is a useful option number three is static list you can create a static list input parameter and you can only create the static list and number five is a data parameter procedure or scalar function so you can create a procedure class scalar function in this input parameter and those those input parameter will be considered a once the input parameter is required at the point of time this procedure or this scalar function will be executed and depending on that scalar function procedure value this input parameter will be available now i'm creating this column input parameter so you will see you will have a reference of your columns so i'm even selecting subquad just to make it easy and i'm using easy the multiple values and then i'm clicking on okay so the input parameter is getting created I'm activating these things and try on this input parameter. See the input not coming. Why? This is the optional parameter and there is no filter imposed over there. So what you can do, I can click change this input parameter to mandatory parameter. Okay. Click on OK. Let do it activate it activated now see this is you not know, asking for any parameter right why because this input parameter created but is not yet used as long as the input parameter is not used it will not ask you for anything so now i'm going to use the input parameter so i'm using creating a product subcategory and apply filter and this apply filter i'm going to equal to and i'm going to this input parameter so it's not a fixed it's from input parameter and see if you find the input parameter Quite strange why it is not showing the input parameter not getting shown. It's supposed to show over here, it's from multiple. Man, it's a little bit this matter. I'm clicking on OK. And now if I'm poor, I can click on this one. I click on that way filter. I'm going to value, let's go to fix and using input parameter and see IP subcategory is showing, right? Click on OK. And it's okay. Now it is already pressed properly. Now, if I activate these things, now it will ask you for this input parameter C. Now I'm going to execute. Now you ask me input parameter C, right? So I'm giving a 69 and check. See, it's bring all the values of 69. So, this is the way how you create input parameter and how to use this input parameter as a filter. And also we explain different different parameters to understand. Okay. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.